What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with another quick hack and touch tip for you. This time on how to fix that infamous error with iMessage. Now in case you haven't been following my videos or if you don't have a Hackintosh or maybe you haven't signed out and haven't gotten this error yet, we cannot sign into iMessage once you're signed out. This has been an ongoing problem for the last, I would say, couple weeks to a month and we at long last have a solution and that's obviously what this video is going to be about. So you are going to need, uh, I, I would say, two things for this, a little bit of time and also a downloaded file. Now this will work on an existing installation and basically what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be using a different bootloader rather than Chimera. We're going to be using something called Clover and there's two ways that you can get this. Here is the Tony Mac form. Uh, here's iMessage won't work. It's a thread page 29. You can download this from right here or I will have a link in the description to another place if you want to go ahead and do that as well. Now I want to give a huge shout out to this user right here. Also uh, there's a, there's another one, uh, he's like a little black avatar, but um, they did a lot of the hard work for us. There's a little, kind of like a little step by step guide right here. Uh, this is already pre-compiled, you don't have to go ahead and compile this bootloader or anything like that. So a lot of the hard work and the heavy lifting has already been done for us and that is a huge help. So what you want to do is, I'll go ahead and bring this back here, you want to go ahead and click this or the link in the description. And that will start the download of the bootloader and as you can see the download just finished and now what you want to do is go ahead and open that bad boy up and you'll get a little package file that looks just like this so all you have to do is simply run that continue continue and now make sure that, that you install this to the boot drive now keep in mind that you already have your Chimera bootloader installed that really does not matter you can just overwrite it nothing bad is going to happen but I mean, I guess there's always that chance. If it does, then, you know, I'm sorry, but it should work just fine for you. I would be pretty confident. So go ahead and install that. Should not take very long at all. And if your system uses a DSDT like mine does, what we're going to do is I'll go ahead and from my extra folder, you want to copy that. As you can see, when you actually install that bootloader, you get two new folders here, EFI and EFI backups. What you can do is copy that DSDT to EFI, ACPI, patched. Go ahead and copy that DSDT right there and it'll uh, use that. And now what you want to do is go back into this EFI folder and look for a config.p list. What you want to do here is open this with text edit. And now you'll get something that looks a little bit like this. And so now what you want to do is look in the description one more time and you'll see some text that looks just like this. What you want to do is copy this and right after here this last little DICT and before these last two you want to go ahead and return down and simply just paste it all right in there. Now as you can see right here we're going to need a couple things. We need the serial number that our computer is using and also the MAC address. Now the serial number you can come right up here to about this MAC. Go ahead and click your version twice. There's your serial number. But the thing is this is only 11 digits and it has to be 17. So what you want to do is go ahead and enter these guys right here, like right between those little string brackets. Go ahead and enter the serial number. And now we'll just add any random, you know, six uh, numbers, characters, anything like that, just so that it actually is 17 digits. The next thing you're going to need is the MAC address of your computer. And one way to do that is just come up here and launch system information right there. And you want to come down to network, ethernet, or I believe if you're using Wi-Fi, you would probably use that MAC address. You know, that kind of just makes sense. And so as you can see right here, we have the MAC address. Go ahead and copy this and paste that right into there. So you will have something that looks just like this. Go ahead and zoom in on this a little bit for you guys. So make sure that yours looks just like that. Of course, you'll have your own MAC address and your own serial key. So once you do that, go ahead and hit uh, Command S so to save that. And now simply just restart your computer. All right, so here we are rebooting the computer. And one thing to note that we did change the bootloader. So you're gonna see a, something that's totally different that you've probably never seen before. All right, so once you get to the bootloader, this is what it looks like, the Clover bootloader. And now just so go ahead and just like you would in Chimera, navigate to the, you know, the drive that you just fixed and go ahead and hit enter. And now it's gonna default to a verbose boot. That's fine. I believe this is just, you know, a kernel flag that we can change or maybe even just a setting within the bootloader. I'm not quite sure how cl uh, Clover works just yet, but I'm sure it's something very similar. But as you can see, this system boots up just fine and the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and launch messages and now once messages loads I'm going to go into the preferences and we'll go ahead and sign in as you can see just like that we are now authenticated iMessage will work just fine for you and so we'll go ahead and we'll test this here send a message to myself we'll say this is a test 
And as you can see right here on the phone, if it'll focus here, this is a test. So iMessage is now up and running. So the fix really isn't that hard, but it's just something that you kind of have to know. And this is kind of a good time to mention that there are other tools out there than the Tony Mac tools. I prefer to use the Tony Mac tools because they're very easy and they work great. And hopefully in the next version of Chimera, this kind of a fix will be integrated. Uh, this, this kind of a fix at the moment will not work in Chimera. We do have to use the Clover bootloader for now if you want iMessage to work. But I think that's a pretty small price to pay because I realized how much I missed iMessage when it wasn't working. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and I'll see you guys in my next video.